If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. <laughs> Love this picture of your mama. Hey, come have a look. What's all this? Here, I, uh, kept a few things. Swords and schemes. Oh, and I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? I, uh, well, your mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Swords and schemes. Oh, and I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. <laughs> Look at these ones. She looks happy. Mm. She when was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you closed the whole thing up. I told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but... She said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Al, are you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all I, it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I ever tell you about the time I broke my leg? Shin bone snapped in three different places.
<laughs> Stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, uh, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right.
Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man. I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out. And fishing, and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right. Right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh... I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel him in. Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. I got it. I got it. Mm. Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. Hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we are going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so he found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JC holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I... I'm not sure where I'm going. But yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. I should have said this earlier, but thanks for doing all this. Don't mention it. Besides, I wanted to see if all this talk of yours was just that. Your verdict? You're doing pretty well, but don't let it go to your head. Still plenty of time for Ego to get the best of you. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. How about them apples? Oh, nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but... Last week, your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. You blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. 
It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. Yeah, well, I was the kid who killed his mom, and I still found a way to confront my shit. I mean, I'm here, doing the work. Even though, every second, I've got to fight the urge to run straight back. To fireweed, you mean? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. So you going to tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person. You know that? <laughs> you betcha. Don't you say anything. I got this. Three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, can I... Can I ask you something that's pretty personal? Sure. Take off the gloves. You, uh... You've been with people, right? Uh... Romantically? Uh, yeah. A few. Have you? Uh, no. Not really. That's kind of surprising. I never really thought about it. It just wasn't a priority, I guess. I get it. You've had a lot on your plate. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You want my take on it? Sure. Heartbreak sucks. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show.
You okay? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, is one way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later? You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. Why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you took his word for it? He was crazy in love with Marianne. Whoever set that fire was doing damage control. And Sam's nothing but damage. I guess he really doesn't have anything left to lose, does he? There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? You wanna take another look at the picture? It might help. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder.
Can you see anything? Nope. Nada. Here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. She left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be the gold lady's- Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original- The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the gold lady cut off his other- That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of the- Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Could this guy be- You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not the gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is really- Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images- The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't the wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Huh. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was- Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's- so young and happy. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. 
Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With her father. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. This just lit up, so... What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is... Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's laws. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. And then, he was just gone. I guess having us helped her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so All right. how do we open Should it? Should be easy enough. <laughs>
Whoa. Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... Even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. The Crafty Goblin's Loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. And you probably remember- What if they took some spoons? Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? Did they steal candy? Some flour for the cake, maybe? Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Did they steal candy? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Wait. That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open- A newly bloomed bluebell? Fresh caught salmon? A handful of ripe berries? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house- Huh, she fixed the roof shingles. She slapped the post with her tail to write it. She fixed the planks that- All right. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, it broke open the beehive for the bear. 
They hugged the princess when she was crying. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. Back in your pond, big frog. Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. The old bear's gotta be in his ice cave. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. The ice king goes in the forest, obviously. There you go, stalwart moose. I wish she just explained all this to us. Moonhag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. The very old beaver definitely goes in her den. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. Crafty goblins go here. That's the pious pelican spot. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Almost. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. 
We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want, as long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. And you just couldn't risk being there when it happened even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. None of this would have happened if you'd manned the fuck up! I didn't have a choice. I know it shouldn't have happened. But, well, your mother was a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. 
Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary and Minnie died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <clears throat> you know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back! Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've 
been having all these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Tom 
was lying. Marianne couldn't face being separated from her kids again, and the only way to make sure that never happened was for all of us to go together. I know it in my heart. I saved you. I saved us. I know. You did the right thing. You want to go back inside? Yeah. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Would have aged well, or just gone bad? Cheers, I guess. I can't believe Tom thought we'd buy that story. And that I almost did. Yeah, I still can't believe he and Marianne. What the hell did she see in him? She was probably just really, really lonely after she lost Leo. I could never get that lonely. Listen, with everything that's been going on, it got me thinking about our voice. Like, that maybe we should stop using it. What? I just don't trust it, and I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But, I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag. But she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter.
Hey, it's me. Hey. Everything okay? Oh, everything's fine. I just came back from shopping and thought I'd call. Huh. Well, it's good to hear your voice. What's going on? Did you get my text about Tom losing the election? <laughs> oh yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. Or sorry. Or anything. Fuck that guy. Ooh, speaking of telling Tom to fuck off, Tessa left him. <laughs> Finally, God. I really hope she told him to stuff it. <laughs> In the name of the father, Bye bye I could use a good kick in the pants. I've been trying to sit down and write a new story, but I keep putting it off. A new story for the Book of Goblins? Yeah, I guess a sort of sequel. That's awesome. I'd love to find out what happens to those two. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I needed to hear. How's life in the big city? Juno is cool. Cool? Okay, I'm a convert. Everyone at the JCE has been so welcoming, and I went to a march last week. Look at you, Mr. Socialite. All right, time for me to get going. Okay, but real quick, everything good with the house? Yeah, I'm starting to make it mine. To tame it, if you will. You think you made the right call staying? Yeah, I think so. Even after everything. This feels like where I need to be right now. Maybe that's a good thing to write about then. You know what? That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, but you better give me credit if you do. Will do. Love you. Love you too, sis. Hey, Allison. Guess you're not answering your landline either. Just wanted to check in and see if we're still out for dinner tomorrow. I'm making my special Eddie-licious fish tacos. Oh, uh, sorry, gotta run. Uh, Mayor Scrow just walked in my office. Love you, little moose. Hey, princess. Well, um, uh, I'm doing like you asked and calling ahead to let you know I'm on my way out to place that door. So, um, that's up. See you soon. I should get rid of this, but it just brings me way too much joy. <sighs> Not even the birds are coming back. I should try to fix this up before summer. It'd be nice to swim off it again.
Yeah. I was just thinking about her. Hi, Leo. I guess it's just us now. Oh. Sorry for her, you know? Yeah, I know. I should probably seal this a little better, or just embrace my future as a rat lady. I guess that's as close as she'll ever get to divorcing him. Really love having to drive that 20 extra miles for groceries, but better that than the awkwardness of going to the Vecchi's. Really love having to drive that 20 extra miles for groceries, but better that than the awkwardness of going to the Vecchi's. Oh God, the cuteness. To work. Come on, Allison. You got this, sis. <laughs> Let's hope. friend? What is that? The princess frowned, for she realized that the two tiny thieves were as lonely as she was. 
A friend is someone you love and care for. Someone you would never hurt. Once upon a time, in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a solitary goblin in a big wooden house. That goblin had not always been so solitary. She had a twin, and when they were younger, they were inseparable. Together, they rescued princesses and outsmarted ice trolls and even trapped a mad hunter. But as she grew older, the goblin sister decided that she'd had enough of adventures. So while her brother went out to explore the world, she stayed behind as guardian of the big wooden house. For it is not on all of us to adventure. Some must stay behind to tell the story and to hold shelter for those who may come back and those who never left. <laughs> <laughs> 